What's up, you guys, and welcome to the next day of Pikmin on RT Online. Oh, that's an echo. <laughs> In the previous day, we landed on this weird planet and discovered Pikmin, who were able to help us find our engine to our ship. With, a, with the ability to take flight, we're landing in the forest of hope to, in hope to find other pieces. Let's go. The Forest of Hope. One of the standout tracks in this game, this is the one I always come back to, it's so relaxing. I love this song. Give it a listen when you can. It's also in the Brawl soundtrack, believe it or not. My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press A. So let's test that out right now. We're gonna get all 25 of you out, <clears throat> just to be safe. We're gonna get more of you buddies. Oh look, we have the day counter on the top of the screen. That's what I was bringing up in the last episode, that um, it shows the progress within the day on there. And once it reaches the end, you gotta go back to your ship. And it counts down, too. It doesn't bring you there automatically. No, you gotta run. Looks like there's a lot of bubs over there, but there's an, also an enemy. We'll explore that in a bit. Let's see, before we... Before we pluck any more Pikmin... Let's see... Let's get that over there. Oh! I don't think these guys can hit the wall. Yeah, no, they get tired. That wall's too strong for them. Get over here. Okay. I tried having them hit the wall. I can have them hit the other wall, though. I know that for sure. Okay. And then wait for these other ones to hatch. Okay. Oh, I found out if you hold the, um, the L button, it actually follows your cursor like that. Which means you don't really have to turn your camera at all. Now what I'm wondering is how we break down that strong wall, but I know we could break down this one, so let's go. Come on, Pikmin! We're gonna get all those bubs and kill the enemies. Hopefully we don't lose any, uh, any Pikmin by our side. That would be ca catastrophic. <clears throat> Do we need more? Oh no, it's just taking a little bit. Yeah, it's working. Here, I'll help. <laughs> I'll give the illusion of me helping. You got it, come on. Almost there. Okay, let's see, there's one... Oh, there's a big one over there. Okay. <gasps> there's a ship piece. Okay, we're gonna need a lot more Pikmin, I guess. <clears throat> Come on, buddies. Okay, we're gonna fight this guy now. He's gonna eat him! I'm not gonna let him! And I think we can carry the dead corpses of enemies. Let's see. Yes, we can. Okay, we're gonna get more Pikmin and then attack that other guy. Actually, you know what? I think we have enough to do it. Alright, and... Ready? Fire! Oh, if you land an en uh, a Pikmin on the enemy, it takes them out. Yeah, like what I did right there. It just, if you land a Pikmin, I guess they're heavy enough to do a body slam on them. One, two, three. <clears throat> we're gonna have a lot more Pikmin while we're at it. Let's do this. Oh, there's a bridge, too! Oh man, there's a lot we can do in the Forest of Hope. And if you saw on the world map, there's a lot of ship pieces here as well, so this is going to be a quite a vast area of exploration. Let's go back to the Onion. We're not ready to fight the big guy just yet. Okay. Oh, the bell's ringing. I guess that means it's a quarter of the day. Okay. We have 38 Pikmin active on the world. I think that's enough. But we're still getting more. I wonder what the max number we can have is. It goes up to the thousands on the world map. I mean, on the bottom screen, so... On the bottom of the screen. Jeez, we're not playing on a DS. Okay. Let's wait for all of them to sprout, then we'll start plucking. We got an army! <clears throat> Alright, let's go! Ah, 
I hope the game volume sounds better this time. I realized it was too low in the first episode. Hopefully you guys can actually hear the game. This game has some pretty neat sound effects. One of my favorites being the Sea Stick Movement song. <laughs> it's pretty goofy. Okay, so let's... Let's get ready for war. Okay, they're getting eaten! But that's fine, we survived. And sometimes enemies can carry pellets. Okay, one, two, three. We lost a couple Pikmin, but that's fine. How many do we need to carry this thing? Why? It's the Eternal Field Dynamo. It has an unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. But how many do I need? Eternal Field Dynamo. This should light things up. No more candles for me. I need 40. Okay, so we don't have enough here. We're only missing two. <gasps> oh, but this could be a good thing. Come on, you guys. I don't know if we want to fight that thing today. Once we have Pikmin to expend, maybe. Which we might have after this, uh, after this Pikmin run. We're gonna carry that big engine piece, too, so in case we lose all of our Pikmin, we actually have an engine piece for the day. But I hope that's not the case. We seem to be pretty formidable with our army of over 50 now. And now we're gonna have, like, over 60. Watch. Holy crap! We have 66. Okay. This is gonna be a pluck today. My wife would be proud. Alright, let's go. We, need, we saw on the world map there's quite a few areas to explore, so this is gonna be somewhat long playthrough, I think. Here we go. But judging by there can only be 30 days because we can only survive for 30 days, I guess this means it's gonna be a 30 episode series. Um, zoom out. Look at our army! I feel stronger already. But first, we're gonna get the ship piece. That's my goal right now. So get the ship piece. Oh! And we can use bombs, too. Uh, I'm gonna figure out how to use those in a bit. Okay, come on, buddies. Okay, and then the rest, I guess, we'll, we'll add more to our army. Let's go. If you hit them at the top of the plant, it actually gets rid of the, uh, bub immediately. Okay, that's all my Pikmin! My clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor, and choose my actions accordingly. So it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Across the top of my monitor are the sun meter and the day display. At the bottom are my spacesuit damage meter and Pikmin gauges. From the left, those numbers reflect the Pikmin under my command. Pikmin in the field and total Pikmin, including those in onions. To adjust my monitor, I can press L to rotate the camera, R to zoom, and Z to change the viewpoint. I can also press Y to view detailed computer analysis. I haven't used Z yet. Oh, that changes the angle. Okay. <clears throat> Where's the ship piece? <laughs> Look at all my Pikmin. Alright, that's our second ship piece within the second day. I'm guessing that's how progress is gonna go. <laughs> Eternal Fuel Dynamo? This should light things up. No more candles for me. I have now recovered two of the 30 parts. If I can just find three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Three more? Really? I think I heard the Pikmin cheering for a bit right there. <clears throat> We're gonna fight that big guy. We have enough time. But I wanna figure out what those bombs do. I think I throw a Pikmin at one, and then if I throw the Pikmin, it does extra damage. We're gonna find out. Okay, from three pellets, we got, what, six Pikmin? Makes sense. Um, let's pluck! <clears throat> that giant Bulborb is sleeping. That's what they're called, Bulborbs. They're one of the classic enemies of Pikmin, and what you'll find usually on your first world. Okay. We're gonna get ready, guys. I'm gonna take some bombs first. Come on, guys, hurry up. Okay. What, you can't pick them up? Hold on, try again.
I, I guess I can't use those yet. Okay, we're gonna have to fight with nothing but our army. You're doing great! Oh god! He ate some! Ah! Okay. Not much catastrophe. Okay. Let's go. We're gonna take these pellets. Oh, there's another one. You know what? I'm feeling pretty confident. Let's take on that other one, too. But after we take all this. Oh, yeah. Don't go into water with your red pigmen. That'll kill them instantly. We'll figure out what to do with water later. Oh, hey. Another... Oh, God. There's another giant one here, too. <laughs> that little straggler pigmen. All right. Let's go, buddies. We're making progress. We're gonna take. We're gonna get back all the Pikmin that we lost from that battle, and then some. I think that's OP. Oh my God, we're almost at a hundred. I think. I think the max we can have is a hundred. I could be wrong. <laughs> wow, we got a lot from that bulb orb. I wonder if they eat more than you get more back. You know what? I'm gonna start plucking now. <clears throat> And you can always return Pikmin to the Onion if you have over the amount, which is a cool feature. Once you start getting way more Pikmin and more ships, then that'll be a, that'll be a good strategy within the day. Look at us. We have an armada of Pikmin. Armada, army, I don't know which one's stronger. I'm gonna say army. Come on, we're running out of time. We're almost at dusk. I think we could break that wall down within the time, but I don't know if we can kill the monster. Okay, that's it. You ready, guys? Let's break down this wall as fast as we can. Yep, that's three quarters of the day done. I heard that little bell chime. Come on, buddies. Okay. Here's the wall. And here's where we're gonna break it. Hey, look, another onion! We're gonna find more Pikmin in the next day, probably. Come on, little buddy. We got 88 Pikmin striking it. Let's see how much faster it does. Oh, much faster. Yes. We actually might have enough time. <clears throat> Curious what that other onion's going to hold. Okay, we're going to have to fight two monsters at the same time. Do we have enough time? I think so. Thank you, buddies. Okay, let's let's kill the tiny one first. Oh god. He's aware of our presence! Ah! Oh god, he hit me! No, don't hit the bub! Mm, we're going to battle! Okay, a lot more catastrophes that time. Let's get all the bubs we can. Come on, we need to recover our Pikmin. That's it for that. And there's another giant wall there, too. Is there anything else we're missing? <gasps> A yellow one! Huh! Cool. I guess we're getting it in this day. <laughs> hey, our first yellow! I can't wait. Look at its little ears! The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has a... has what, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what... what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? No matter, they are obviously quite similar, so I shall call this one a Pikmin as well. Wow, you're very creative, Olimar. Okay, let's, um... I want to throw the yellow one. Hold on. Segregate. There we go. And while we're at it, let's get more yellow Pikmin. So let's bring this bub. <clears throat> we're running out of time, so I'm just going to get one in there, and that's it. 
Yeah, see? It's almost sundown. Hurry your ass up. My clock is indicating the approach of sunset. Thick men waiting beneath the dolphin and onions will probably enter the onions on their own, but if I don't call the stragglers and add them to my group, they may not be able to get back. I am sure that the pigpen still planted are safe, but I am somewhat concerned about leaving the pigpen to fend for themselves in the darkness. You got a good point there, buddy. Okay, we're almost done here. And I'm sure that our other red pigmen made it back to the onion in time. So let's pluck these guys and head home. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Let's put them in the ship. Oh, I mean, one more. Just for safekeeping. The red pigmen aren't very fast, but I'm sure we'll get faster pigmen later on in the game. Oh god! No, guys! Ugh. As long as they're by my group. He said it'll be fine. He said unplugged pigmen are okay, too. Can we pluck them all? I don't think we can. Three. Two. One. Okay, we just left a few there. That's fine. We'll be back in the Forest, hope, forest of Hope in the next day. We sure did make a lot of progress today. We got another ship piece, we added a ton of red Pikmin to our party, and nonetheless, we added more yellow Pikmin. We'll gather more yellow Pikmin tomorrow. For now, let's rest. Two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I can just recover the parts of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances. Then I'd only have to press Y to locate my parts. Yet, there seem to be many hostile life forms here. If I am attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it, and press A to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. Captain's Log. We sprouted 90 Pikmin, we lost 23 in battle, and left behind 0. We have 87 red Pikmin, 3 yellow Pikmin, and our parts remaining are 28. Let's save our game. We've recovered one part in the Forest of Hope. Let's hope we can get another part in the next day. So I hope you had a good time on Rye Time. I will see you all tomorrow.